What's up, future fighters? We are back. Uh, this is the test that I promised you. So the AI messages, so his thinking has been turned on so we can see it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause the game. So what this these messages do is they tell you where he is in the code and then tells you kind of what he's doing. So he's in execute combo. He's chosen to move a uh, file in a, a folder which uh, was already on the screen and he's gone into it. So that was one combo, one full combo. Now he decided to uh, to get back and check out and, and kind of analyze things. Uh, so we're gonna kind of, this is this is good because we kind of want to reset this and see what he's gonna do. So he's gonna go into block right now, but he's decided uh, even though he's in block, he's going to throw some fireballs at us. <laughs> so we're gonna hold block down and, and block those. And you can see my controller there. You can see when it lights up, but you can tell what I'm what button I'm pus pushing. So uh, he's going back. He has decided to do a non-strike move, and he's going to do block again. So he's going to stay in block, and we'll just let him um, do his thing. So he's not seeing any threats or anything, so he's he kind of staying in block. Uh, eventually, he's going to kick out of this. Um, so he's decided to attack. Here it is. And he's got plenty of link, which is good, which means he's going to choose from let me put uh, sorry, I got one hand right now since I got one hand in the controller. He's going to choose from one of these types of moves. K okay, zero one two or three. He's gonna pick something out of these, and what we'll do is we'll go back and find out what he what he's interested in here. Oh rats! This message is always gonna show up over there now. Shoot. So how do I get those messages back? Go like this. So that was the move he chose, uh, which was if you, which, which you know that was his block breaker move, right? That was this button here, and this is the cool thing. Uh, so what we can do is, well, let's let it play out. Let's let it play out. So it was block breaker. We'll let it play out. See what happens next here. Um, he's back in a choose move. And he's attacking again. Interesting. Um, here's the move he chose, number 17. He's, there's the move file, the particular move. Uh, for example, this combo stands still, releasing move forward to print interference with combo. Cool. Just a little something there. And he went back. So I'm going to show you what he did in the code which we just created, which is working perfectly. I am going to move this off right now. So this is really, really cool. So he chose block breaker, a block breaker. So let's, um, let's do it this way. Bring these moves up. Oh, it looks like my video is done processing. I'm just going to get that uploading in the background. Uh, always do two things at once. That's one of my secrets to success. So while that is uploading, we are going to work in the foreground. Now, um, block breaker. I promised you a block breaker. I'm going to give you one. So let's go into shadow and let's find everything. It says block in it. Here's block breaker one shot forward link stay in. Let me copy that and find that in the actual code. Yeah. Let's move number six. So 
his strike number when he started that sequence was greater than one. And the reason we know that is because you can't access move number six because it's a link move. Um, you can't access it when your strike number is zero. So his strike number is greater than one. So he went down here and he chose this move, number six, and he executed it. And he hit me with it. You saw him do the block breaker and it, it nailed me. But then you notice that instead of doing what he was doing while he was blocking, which is constantly going back to his main script, script AI, and evaluating all the situations, deciding what to do next, he didn't do any of that. The next thing he did was he chose move number 17. And how did he do that? Well, when he chose move number six to start off, and he ended that, he came here to this end combo script. And he went down here and he said, I just ended move number six, do, 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 stop. I'm in move number six. So I'm not gonna go back to the main section. I'm gonna go back to choose move. And I'm gonna pick another combo to do. And he did, and he hit us with number 17. Uh, and so <laughs> that is so much fun to watch. Number one, it's very rewarding because you saw how fast, we, if you go back a couple of videos, you saw how fast we coded this because we classified everything appropriately. And I, I, I know, I, well, it might be boring for you guys or, or some of you guys, but it's not boring for me. But classification, that's the power of classification. So let's go ahead and see what else, let's see what it does now. So um, he's in a non-strike move. He's going to block again. Uh, so we're gonna wait till he comes out of block here. I'm just gonna oh, I forgot to press block. Okay, now stamina is positive. In other words, he has more stamina than I do, and I need to change that to integrity. We'll do that right now. In fact, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We'll change that in the next video and uh, do the next set of testing. For now, go to docbrockgames.com and click subscribe right there. And then check out the alpha features of the game. Uh, they're all listed right here for you. Got some neat stuff. Uh, Roman cancels are in there, There's lots of fun. There's videos on that. You can go back and watch those on YouTube. Here's the characters that are in the game right now, and along with some screenshots that they're in. And this is this is important. I want you to put your email address in there so I can notify you when this game comes out. Then come back to YouTube, and we're going to make more game. I'll see you then.